the first guiding principle of the Polis Center is people are more alike than different. I've interviewed hundreds of people who have had horrible things happen to them, and I find that we all want the universal good things in life. I want a good job, I want family, I want friends, I want to be able to make decisions, be free. If you understand those principles, it opens a dialogue. These are people who have inspired others. When people come to the Polis Center, this is how I feel we can explain what we do. My brother told me, there is a group of Americans that they want to interview people with disabilities. He was probably one of the first people I interviewed. They were outstanding, they were remarkable. The conversation that starts with, tell me, have you lived here all your life? Tell me how you grew up. What were the things that you enjoyed when you were young? I am 62 and I would like to have a job. I don't want to be at home doing anything. And we try to really understand not only uh, what a person's injury is, but who they are. It's important to me to be functional, to be part of that my relatives, my family members feel that I am useful. Walks down the street every day, and you know, I've walked with him, and people just, they know who he is. He's a, he was a hero during the revolution, and he's a school teacher, unbelievable soccer player, coach. Michael is, his heart is bigger than his body. <laughs> the importance of sustainability. Because I have seen things that he had done. We opened the clinic in 1999. This clinic wouldn't be a, a, a true clinic because uh, if they were not willing. That program gets no funding anymore from the Polis Center. They work to work with the Nicaraguan government and they've been there for years. To provide this uh, in order to build, to poor people receive uh, a very good treatment. Mm -hmm.